Welcome back to my channel, y'all. And today we are doing the best, and when I say the best, the best copycat McDonald's chicken McNuggets and fries recipe. And y'all, this is it. Well, I'm telling y'all, let's go. So first I'm starting with russet potatoes that I cut up and soaked in water to remove the starch. And then I just cut them into fries. Um, I'm going to boil them and add a tablespoon of vinegar to the water. So let me tell y'all, I got this recipe from a fellow YouTuber, Lizzie Lou Foods, and let me tell y'all, that that girl is blessed. She went to culinary school and knows what she's doing, okay? So bar boiling the potatoes three minutes exactly, and um, the vinegar is to hold the shape, so when you boil them, they don't... Um, mash or break and I'm gonna put these into the um, just set them for five minutes and then the temperature um, has to be at 320 and I'm just going to flash fry them and um, these will also go into the freezer afterwards um, and then just go I put them in there for about two hours um, her recipe she did them overnight um, but I just wanted to test them out plus because I was excited I wanted to try them so Starting on barbecue sauce, I have ketchup, brown sugar, liquid smoke, soy sauce, mustard, Worcestershire, red wine vinegar, and garlic powder. And again, this recipe for this barbecue sauce, because when I go and get nuggets, this is, this is, I get the barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce is my jam. And this was pretty much just that. It was so good. I cannot say enough and she would kept saying oh this is so good this is it tastes just like it I'm like okay girl calm down no she had every right because this literally was a spot-on recipe kudos to you Lizzie honey you know what you're doing so I am just gonna mix up all of these ingredients and then I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator just to sit for a little bit and let all of those um, ingredients marinate together and it's gonna be so good so the recipe she used called for chicken breast and chicken skin and y'all know how I feel about creepy uh, meat pieces so I chose to use chicken tenders and a thigh a boneless skinless thigh and then I added a tablespoon of lard and then the seasonings is one teaspoon of celery salt, white pepper, kosher salt, and um, MSG. I know there's controversy around MSG. I'll have to Google it. I don't know, <laughs> but I used it. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you have not already. And for those who are new to my channel and new subscribers, welcome to the kitchen crew. So here I am now just forming the patty. So we have the minced chicken and using a little bit of water. And I used my smallest cookie scoop and that was the perfect amount of chicken. Um, you don't want them to be too thick. Um, if you want to get the copycat style nuggets, this was perfect. And if you want to get fancy, go on and make some little dinosaurs or whatever you want to do. But I'm just doing some basic nugget shapes. Um, and then I'll uh, put them in the freezer. So this is what they look like. So I put them in the freezer for about an hour so that they can hold their shape when I go to do the batter. So batter is all-purpose flour, cornstarch. Um, I needed baking powder. I was out of it. So I made cream of tartar and baking soda. Then one teaspoon of each white powder, MSG, and kosher salt. And then also I have some sparkling water. So one thing I will say about this recipe that I probably would have done differently is use my normal sea salt instead of the kosher. Um, but it worked out fine, but I, I probably will stick to the sea salt. So just going to mix that up. And the club soda and this flour batter obviously will make um, a tempura batter. And again, this, I, I stuck to the recipe and it was spot on. So here are the patties and as you can see in the freezer for an hour they keep their shape. So just going to drop them in and one thing I noticed initially is the batter um, was a bit puffy because I didn't shake off enough so I started massaging the batter around the nugget then I dropped them in and that worked. So this is the first round. Um, I just did a quick fry on them and then you're going to fry them a second time. And this is the second round coming out and look at that golden 
brown nuggets and it's just like you would at McDonald's they drop a fresh batch this is the same thing so I have pulled those fries out of the freezer and now I'm just going to um, do the second fry on these as well so again this is uh, her recipe she did them overnight I'm greedy we were ready to try this and I couldn't wait and I honestly it worked okay but look at that golden brown fries golden brown nuggets and this is let me remind y'all this is Nika's kitchen not McDonald's we're in my kitchen y'all and look at that look at how perfect those look the fluffy potato filling inside spot on nuggets y'all let me tell y'all she kept saying these are so good oh my gosh it's so good it tastes now she was right this is legit but hold on let me let me let you there you go baby let me let you get a bite now look at that tender white meat it was so juicy so flavorful and that sauce that show show so so good y'all you have to have to try this recipe it is so easy and it literally tastes like it kudos to you Lizzie thank you so much also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when I post my new videos which is Monday Wednesday and Friday at 6 a.m. also don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and we're gonna start doing fast food Fridays y'all we're gonna try a little something different so if you're new to my channel welcome 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 I thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time in my new video bye y'all